All right, folks, last one for the night, which is also incidentally the last one for, of the unit, which will be uh, the quiz that is coming up to you at the end of the week of Monday, April 20th. So what we're going to talk about now is called the Diekmann Condensation. All right, here's the basic form of it. It's another diester reaction, but this one does not decarboxylate. Instead, it does this. forms a cyclic diester. All right, so mechanism for this. The only thing confusing about it is you've got to count carbons. So I'm gonna draw this a lot bigger on this page so we can really get a good idea of what's going on. So let's have the alkoxide, deprotonate there, putting you here. All right, now let's go ahead and count some carbons. One, two, three, four, five. Again, five is good. Six is good, if slightly less. Three, four, seven, eight, etc. are all really bad. So let's continue on with this mechanism. So our intermediate is right here. This intermediate Form the pi bond, knock off the leaving group like we have with all these esters. Puts you right there. Pardon me for just a second. Sorry, almost done. So now we're here. Those of you who've been playing along at home, you'll remember that this proton is particularly acidic. However, uh, it's late, I'm tired, and I don't feel like beating you over the head with that. So this will work for five and six membered rings. Now, this is the end of this unit, which is everything in your book in the, the alpha carbon chemistry chapter right up to conjugate addition reactions. We're not going to do that one. So with that in mind, I will talk to you later.